Okay, Maria, you had a nice, nice win today against Hussein Aziz. Tell us something about the game. Uh, I think it was about equal position after the opening, but then my opponent misplayed it and I got an initiative. I also had some mating threats like uh, Queen H5, uh, Queen H2, and <laughs> I was very happy about it. I think uh, my ma uh, the main mistake of my opponent was to give up the pawn. I believe that instead of knight cd2, he had to play knight b4. Yes, and then, yeah. though I was better, but probably not enough uh, to, for the win. And at the end, he, he kind of got his king on the wrong square, didn't he? To try and uh, stop your pawns go going through. Yes, and in the very end, uh, I think that my position was winning because my A and B pawns uh, mm. were faster than his pawn on G2. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the game. Okay, Maria, we have a Karakan. You've just played knight g4 against Hussein Aziz. Tell us something about the position. Mm, I think this position should be equal. Uh, of course, black has bishop again the knight, but on the other hand, my king is quite weak <laughs> on d8. Uh, mm -hmm. mm, the pawn structure is about the same, I think, because of this double pawns. Yeah, so, okay, about equal. I also considered knight bd2 here, and if I play queen b6, then probably queen d4, oh, and it's quite dangerous to take the pawn on b2 because of mm -hmm. the king. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it looks risky, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh, Hussein played knight d4. Yeah, I was quite happy. I also considered queen g5 mm -hmm. with the idea queen h5 and mating threat on h2, but okay, possible white can defend with playing knight f3 and then knight h4. Yeah, okay. So you opted for to go on the queen side? Yeah, yes, at least something might be unpleasant. And knight a3? Knight a3, yeah. Yes, I That's think uh, seems a bit in two or three moves, uh, I already liked my position. And yeah. I thought that it was me who put pressure. <laughs> right, so he's trying to... I'm not quite sure what he's trying to do there. So uh, he tries to protect this square on yeah. e3, so I'm not able to invade oh, on e3, okay. but on the other hand, this e4, e4. square became weak. Yeah. So if the knight was on d2, it should have protected it. Yeah, can you... Yes, if let's say rook a1... Uh, rook e1? E, yes. Yeah, rook e1. Instead of b3, then probably I would take... Mm -hmm. Take and take, take on b2, yes. Seems reasonable. I think it, it shouldn't be dangerous for mm -hmm. black, and I can uh, retreat my get, queen. And... You can get back quickly, can't you, in that position? So you're not worried by that one. He played b3, he's worried about his b pawn. Yes, but this pawn becomes weak. A c3 pawn. Yeah. Yes, and later on I managed <laughs> to mm -hmm. attack this pawn. So rook e4. So he e4. occupied e4, and he played rook f4 to challenge. And now I played queen g6 with queen similar G6. ideas to play for them, mate. Yeah. And mm. Ooh, doesn't do it that way. Yes, and so I played rook <coughs> f8 and I think it's better than to play queen h5 immediately mm -hmm. because then, as I said in the beginning of the game, like knight f3, knight h4, knight h4 it was quite unpleasant for me. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, it's impossible to take because I play queen h5. Good mate, yeah. Yes, and then knight f3 and I am rook up. Mm -hmm. So knight f3, here was an interesting move, bishop f5, but unfortunately queen b5 and mm -hmm. uh, looks loose like uh, yeah. mm. not good for black because of knight h4. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, um, Captures and oh, of course the queens come off here. 
Uh, then yeah. the end game appeared and rook c8 I have to play, but here probably knight b4 was possible mm -hmm. in order not to give up the pawn. But still I think black is better here. I'm just not sure how much. Rook c5, maybe rook d1. Mm -hmm. The pawn structure is about equal, but bishop against knight should be better for black. Okay, knight cd4 gets played. And you, of course, took the pawn. Knight e5. Knight e5, yes. I didn't want to play this position because it seemed equal to me. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, yeah, okay. So you went in for bishop f5. Yeah, it was a very brave decision to uh, go into rook end game, <laughs> but uh, yeah. I think it's very unpleasant for white to defend there. Right, so all this material comes yeah, off. Yeah, looks like king h2 white has to play because if rook d1 immediately, then I have g3. Yeah, it's awkward, king isn't f1 it? And rook c2. So that's just to make sure it doesn't get yeah, hemmed have, in on the back rank. I have to move my king. Closer to the center. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the next moves are logical. We repeated the moves. And I played king f5. Yes, rook e5 is forced. And here nice. when I played rook nice. c1, unfortunately I missed uh, the idea like uh, rook d5. <laughs> I don't know ah. how it's possible that I missed this idea because I only consider rook d7, oh, sorry, rook d7 yeah. and king h4. And I was quite happy to play it. Like g3 is forced and this position yes. I thought uh, yeah. was comfortable for me. But <laughs> after rook d5 I realized <laughs> that yeah. uh, it wasn't that good for me. It wasn't that great, was it? Yeah. So, so I had to put my king on f5. F, yeah. Yes, on f5. f5. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, f5. Yeah. And, and I'm not sure why my opponent decided to change this g4 pawn on h2 because I think it's better for him to play rook d7, and if he manages to change uh, mm -hmm. at least yeah. one. So, Pawn, then it should be easier to give checks and to force, uh, force the perpetual yeah. check, probably. Instead of which he played king g3. Yes, but here after rook c2, I think I was happy. Yes. Still, it was maybe possible to play rook d7 here, right? I suppose so, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean, this, this can't be good for, for white. Simply because my king is uh, too close to this b3 pawn. Yeah, yeah. You'll and if it. I manage to take it, then it's completely winning because of two against these one. Yeah. Two pawns. Yeah. Okay. So, so probably in the very end, like uh, uh, when I played uh, a5, a5, yeah, it was necessary to play king g5, and the idea is if, for example, I play then maybe king f5 I considered yes and so we could get into this end game oh not king f5 I'm sorry not king f5 but king f6 maybe yeah, king f6 yeah maybe king f6 yeah and then Am the I same right? idea and so the point is that uh, we reach the end game where, where I am a pawn up and uh, it's very unpleasant for yeah. um, white to play. And then g4. Mm, can I play king b4 maybe? Am I right here? King b4. King b4. Yes, yeah. yes. So probably, what happens? yeah, I, I actually didn't even see this because I considered that uh, uh, g4, I considered that in case I play this, I mean, 
I was pretty much confident in this position because they give many checks and yeah. it's extremely hard to defend. And yeah. I knew that I was very close to win. Yeah, but this way it was just too far away. Yeah, but uh, this, I mean... It's very easy, yeah. Yeah, it should be very easy. And yeah. He could continue some more moves uh, like this g4, k1. And here I thought it was necessary to give check rook mm -hmm. h4. No, no, it was right. Rook oh, sorry, H1. it was the correct move, yeah. Yes, no, and I think rook c1 probably. I mean, these two pawns are too strong. Too strong, yeah. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs>